What? What, what, what is this thing? Join the Discord, by the way. Links in the description. And if anyone's wondering why I haven't been uploading more frequently, it's because this is my last year of college. And this is my the last of... Because it's my last part of the first semester of my last year of college. So I'm very busy with school. And because we're learning from home, it's extra hard sometimes. Hey, what's up? Today I have... Uh, who made this? Hightower. Hightower is a, is a special boy. He looks weird. <laughs> Weird is an understatement. What the hell is this thing supposed to be? This guy didn't show up in bot mode in the film, and yeah, I could see why. This is such a messed up design, but it is growing on me. More than scavenger, that's for sure. This guy retail for about $20 in the US and 30 Canadian, but goes for $150 on eBay. Please do not pay that much for this thing. This is the box set version, and I'm not sure if there are any differences between this one and the regular release because some of the other box set figures are repaints. But hey, I don't have the original Hightower, so yeah. Critiquing this figure is quite hard due to the sheer uniqueness of it. My buddy Darian calls this thing a penis because apparently the neck looks like that. We stream COD, by the way, um, Fridays and or Saturdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, so make sure you tune in for those. After all the bashing I gave this figure's design though, I like it. I will say this, it's my second favorite figure of the set. Yes, I'm going there. I have a lot more, I've had a lot more fun with this figure than I have with Skipjack, Long Haul, and Scavenger. Scavenger is my least favorite, I will say this right now. Surface detailing is cool, not a lot on this guy, but then again, it looks wacky enough to not need any more surface detailing. The head sculpt is actually really, really good looking. I quite like the way the head sculpt turned out. Compared to some others, and I mean, it looks weird with any figure, even the Constructicons, there's no getting around that. Posability is, well, I can't really say it's what you'd expect because the designer probably drank an entire bottle of scotch before making this, but you know, it has its charm. Oh, and the posability's meh. Transformation is actually seamless and fun to do. I enjoy doing it, even if it doesn't take forever and overly complicated like the transformations I normally like. It's simple, easy to do, and I really enjoy it. Crane mode looks very good. Small, but good. Not in scale with anything, which is what Studio Series is all about. But then again, if Devastator was in scale with the other figures, he'd be like $600. This guy needed to be at least Voyager to scale anywhere near something like Dropkick, but like I said, it'd be mad expensive. Or you could get that knockoff version that Emigo is currently reviewing where the figures are to scale. Compared to the rest, and now he fits better with these guys because he doesn't look like a... doesn't look like the thing infected a Cybertronian. Overall, I like this guy. He's neat. He's really weird, but he's neat. I would say get one, but it is kind of hard to find because he has a retired figure. But you could just buy the box set like I did because Long Haul, Hightower, and uh, Scrap Metals prices together cost the same as the entire box set. So buying the box set is probably a good investment to do. But that's been my look at Hightower. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, linked below. The Discord link is also below. As for Patreon, I do plan to upload a couple of exclusive videos to that right now. One being a review of Snapdragon and the other being a review of the Ice Cream Truck Twins that I just got. The original Deluxes from Revenge of the Fallen. So if you want to check those out, those will be a dollar on Patreon. They're not up there yet, but I will announce when they go up there. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.